Hi, Michal here. Today I've got a great time saver plugin, or Bluetooth to be exact, that helped me a lot in many projects. So let's get started. Okay, I will show you why I created Bluetooth that helped in various projects. So let's say you've got multiple static meshes that share the same material and you want to assign it. So normally you would select every mesh, open an app in Mesh Editor and apply that material manually. You can use this arrow too, but generally this process is time consuming and boring. And we don't like boring things, right? If you wanted to replace that material with a different one, you would repeat the whole process again. Of course, I know that you can apply materials automatically during import process by choosing import material options here in FBX import dialog. So we can select the same material as before and there are plenty of other options which you normally don't use. But okay, if this option was enabled, we've got material assigned. However, it's not the one we wanted, right? It's some other steel metal material. But why that happened? It's a simple answer. Our, our objects had different material name here in 3D application. So again, we need to remember about it and take care of naming everything correctly. But still, even if everything was set up correctly, it doesn't solve our problem of replacing material, right? So I've got a better solution or a better workflow. Simply select all meshes and any material, right click and choose scripted actions, assign material to selected meshes. And now we're talking. If we open up mesh editor, you see that new material is assigned automatically. If we change our mind now and want another material, same workflow, select meshes, material, it works nice and easy. Of course, you are not limited to materials only, you can use material instances too. So let me create one really quickly. Let's change a color parameter here so we better see what's going on. Okay, let's save it. And let's pick these three assets now and repeat the process. All right, material is replaced. Uh, later in this video, I will show you how to install this Bluetility so it's available for you in context menu and you can use it in any project based on the same Unreal Engine version. And yeah, by the way, one thing to remember, this script works with version 4.21 or higher. But for now, let me show you really quickly one limitation or a thing that you need to consider before using it. Unfortunately, it works only with a single material D, so if you got more complex material situation, you would still need to assign other materials manually. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we've got a mesh that have more than one material, like that door mesh. As you can see, it has two material slots, M underscore door and M underscore glass. So let me copy that mesh into our, fold, our test folder. And now, if we use the blue utility, it works, but only replaces the first material ID. So like I said, the other one needs to be assigned manually. Okay, I will show you how to install this blue utility now. You can download the script from my Gumroad. I put the link in the video description. It is free, but if you feel it can help you in your work, I'd appreciate if you buy me a beer or something here on Gumroad. All right. Unpack the archive and leave the folder opened. You're gonna need this in a second. Now, navigate to your Unreal Engine root folder, not your project, the engines folder. And if you don't know where that is, here's a quick tip to find it. Open any project and in content browser find engine content. If you can't see this folder, you need to enable them here. I believe it's disabled by default. Anyway, Right click and choose show in explorer. Now back to folder you unzipped a moments ago and copy blueprints folder. Paste it in content folder of the engine. Now you need to restart the editor. Remember that this only works with version 4.21 or above. Okay, so there you have it.